last season. We had a lot of great one-twos. We won a manufacturer championship in the first year with Hyundai and a team championship. Kind of easy thing, the comfortable thing to do would have been to just do it all again. But we didn't really want to go the easy route. change when you're doing an endurance race with pit stops, with uh, driver changes, with different tracks that we haven't been on. You're racing for two hours, you're racing for four hours, not a 45 minute sprint race. So this really puts a test to the cars, as well as our drivers, as well as our team. When we made the decision to switch to IMSA, it pushed our timeline back uh, two and a half months, which means we really got a very late start on this IMSA program. The car arrived a little over two weeks before the very first race. The second car arrived days before the first race. We knew we were setting ourselves behind the eight ball. The Veloster N is TCR car, is a car that we sell here in the United States. So that was a big push for us, is to get this car on the track as soon as possible. And we really need that relationship between what we put on the track and what is on the, what's the road car. Yeah, we need some, uh... <clears throat> Needs some more pit stop practice. Yeah, it's not, it's not what it needs to be. Three, two, one, go! When we needed to field the second car, we uh, evaluated a lot of different drivers, and uh, Brian brought to us a bunch, and we came to the conclusion that Mason Filippi and uh, Harry Gottsacker were the young bloods. They would be able to come in, learn this car, learn a lot from Mark and Michael. We already have with Mark. Right, he's a really experienced guy. He's he's the guy that's done the most racing. And then you got Michael, who's raced in Europe, who's got a lot of experience in formula cars and sports cars. And I wanted to bring in some youthful guys, some guys that maybe don't have that level of experience. They can feed off the experienced guys, but they're also gonna be bur a burr in the saddle, the experienced guys. Because the experienced guys don't want the young guys coming in and beating them. And the young guys, all they want to do is go fast all the time. And we're always chasing the older guys, you know. We always want to go out there and beat them. We always want to learn from them. It's a really friendly competition. We all go in and we help each other as much as we possibly can. So if it doesn't turn, you got to pump the brakes. So now 20 and you're a 17. That should be fine. Go one more click. Both of us are just kind of that young gun kid attitude. And it's just kind of cool showing up to the racetrack like that. Just ready to go. Brian back in six are the Hyundais, and this is literally day two for the Hyundais on the racetrack. Talked to uh, Brian Hurd of the man fielding the cars, and I asked him about fuel mileage shake, and he told me, I have no idea how long we can run because we've never run more than three consecutive laps coming into the race. Ryan Eversley, uh, you know, last year was, we, we were battling him all year. At Daytona, he uh, he got into us and took us out and, and uh, made, made our championship a little more difficult. Mark Wilkins, you drive the Hyundai machine. Oh, oh and he touches him. You're into the side of Lewis and turns him. Way too late on the brakes. Had no chance to stop and, and use the 98 car there and got the back up really hard. There's a lot more competitors that we're going to really have to deal with on a week in and week out basis. I love the competition. That's what we do this for. And the fact that the, the bar has been raised, the competition's higher, that is, that is good news for us. It's been a really encouraging start for the Hyundais. Picking up here in round two, Mark Wilkins qualified the car really well, and both of the only two Hyundais in the field are showing promise. Sebring was an interesting race for us once again. Uh, challenges with BOP. They added weight to our car. They took power away from our car. We're, we're the heaviest car on the grid by a lot. We have the lowest power level of all the cars in the series. <laughs> we have the highest ride height, minimum ride height, as dictated by the series. You know, that hurts the performance of the car on track. Unfortunately, we had a little mishap in the pit area, which caused Michael Lewis to uh, do a pit drive through, which took him out of contention. He was in P2 at the time, and Mason Filippi and Harry Gottsager, they did a great job throughout the whole race. They they kept it going, they kept it strong. After Sebring, they, they finished as second in points as drivers. Well, just consistency is gonna win this thing. After last season, I think our expectations are, are set very high, and we haven't we haven't reached our expectations yet. Definitely, like we feel like we've got work to do still to get where we want to be. Adversity and challenge is what this is all about. It's why we're here. It's why we do this, um, and we're we're confident that we're ready to get that that first win for the Veloster and TCR and IMSA competition. It's been raining for a week before we even got here. The ground is soaked. This is going to be one of those nasty, nasty deals. I know. We're done. We just we have this problem. Well, I don't want to get my but it's, it, it, you're going to have to go to range faster than you normally would. Am I breaking where it's
starts good and grippy, and then by the time I get to the sealer, I'm releasing, and then I'm letting it slide across, and then I feel the front bite, and then I go right back to the throttle. It was so damp that we had no tire time and no ability to extract any lap time at that point. So it's a little bit of a tough one. We needed to get it on the first lap, and we didn't, and that's why we're starting where we are. They're asking the front wheel drive and the tyres to do all of the work. See Mark Wilkins there, he's made a move there around for Brian Herder Autosport. To move that Hyundai up into that third position. The race just got started. Mark started uh, in sixth place. And I mean, he did some really good moves uh, to get up now to P2 uh, in our class. So from sixth to second, uh, it's really impressive in a span of like five laps. We don't get to say this all too often. The TCR leading group of cars are now mixing it up and passing Grand Sport cars. Look at it. These conditions suit the better drivers. These conditions suit the better handling cars. We have both. I think that's that's a little bit of what you're seeing right now. Kevin, that is Mark Wilkins. His team decides to go with slicks again. Michael Lewis has gotten behind the wheel and feels very good about this Veloster race car. It's just a gamble when it's not raining really hard. It's a gamble of what, what is it going to do? What's going to happen? The weather forecast prognostication <laughs> that it does not get worse. It's Michael Lewis and Harry Gottsacker. Gottsacker's in front. The black Hyundai Veloster is in front now. Brian Herter Autosport teammates duking it out at the front, but Rashidi, Remo Rashidi in the silver car, the 81, the Audi, and Morley is looming in the background, ready for one of these cars to make a mistake. What a move by Remo Rashidi. He takes second place from Michael Lewis. Less than 12 minutes left to run. Rain seems to have stopped. Times are coming down. Lewis goes with him and then takes another lane. But there isn't a lane there. He runs out of road and Remo Rashidi will go to the lead. It's so important for Rashidi right now to try to get around him. Makes a dive bomb under the 57 car. Clears him. Lewis gets a run. Brilliant run through turn nine. Remo's up to the task, Lewis to the outside. Can he make a stick there and have the inside for the carousel? Yes, he can. Well, you don't see many passes executed there. That was slick. Godsacker falling back into the clutches of John Morley. He's saying he's got a fuel pressure critical. Uh, did, did we get the car full? Yes. Did we have fuel pump again? 21 of Harry Godsacker, but he's been reporting a fuel pressure issue. <laughs> if we come in now, we're going to get a penalty. <laughs> Right. What can he do? Power cycle? I don't know if it'll help if it's a mechanical They're thing, right? Henry's big momentum through nine, tries to get a run on Lewis. He closes the door once again. All he's got around. Godsacker, Godsacker may be in trouble with that fuel pressure issue. We can try a power cycle? <laughs> try a power cycle. Tell him make sure he's got some speed when he does it. Yes, well, you're going to need momentum. Leave it here with the ten cycle power. Three and a half minutes left. Rashidi tucks to the inside. He's got a blocker. Oh, he touches him. Brynjolfsson. And look at this in TCI. It's not over yet. They're still fighting that GS traffic. And Morley is there as well. He goes for second. Dives down to the inside. John Morley oh, turns him. And the Hyundai Veloster for Brian Herder Autosport sees the checkered flag first in TCR competition. What a run! First Gibson win, Veloster and TCR. Sorry, man. You guys did it. You did a great job. You both did a great job today. That was good. That was the result you deserved. Thank you. We'll get it, though. We'll get it. It's a big day, but I can't help but also feel like uh, you know, we had a 1-2 in our hands and it got away from us, unfortunately. I couldn't be prouder of all our guys. Keep saying we've got the best drivers in the TCR class and they keep proving me right. They make me look smart, so keep it up.